हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अ न्यू वीडियो टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट द नेसेसिटी ऑफ यूजिंग अ थ्री इलेक्ट्रोड सिस्टम द टिपिकल इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल टेस्ट्स व्हिच आर कैरीड आउट फॉर करोजन टेस्टिंग आर ओपन सर्किट पोटेंशियल पोटेंशियल डायनेमिक पोलराइजेशन व्हिच मींस दैट देयर इज अ चेंज इन पोटेंशियल एंड वी मेजर द करंट and electrochemical impedance spectroscopy the common point in all of these is we measure the potential and hence uh, 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 we uh, then we apply a potential and then we measure the current so the typical system that used is a three electrode system where you have a working electrode which is essentially your sample then you have a counter electrode and you have a reference electrode when you attach it to a potentiostat the potentiostat has a voltmeter an ammeter and a rheostat which is that is a variable resistor so whenever you apply a potential it is this variable resistor that will change the uh, current that is flowing through the circuit so i've talked a bit about uh, this in my telegram video series please do uh, join us on telegram app and also check out the earlier videos on the youtube channel as i uh, have mentioned in those videos the potential that is measured is between the is using the voltmeter between the uh, working uh, working and reference electrode so here the point of focus is the working electrode and we do not want its behavior to change with respect to any other electrode for example if we connect the working electrode with copper the there may the copper may affect its behavior depending on the galvanic coupling between the two hence we don't want that kind of galvanic coupling which is why we need a reference electrode and the counter electrode is required to guard the reference electrode from the effects of whatever current is applied over here whatever uh, external voltage is applied over here for example uh, if suppose a uh, potential uh, we know that the open circuit potential is say around uh, minus point uh, minus 700 millivolts now we apply a voltage of 1 volt positive 1 volt on the working electrode through the resistor it means that we are essentially pushing the electrons into the working electrode so this circuit if we, if uh, is completed by the counter electrode which means that the electron exchange happens to through to the working and counter electrode this way the reference electrode essentially does not get charged at all and it remains protected if instead of the counter electrode we directly connect the ammeter to the reference electrode this one voltage will affect the reference electrode as well and the potential that is measured will not be constant for the working electrode now on the other hand if suppose we decide that we don't want to use the reference electrode we'll directly go for the counter electrode the disadvantage of using this technique is this is counter electrode may be platinum titanium or even graphite they these elements have their own electrode potentials and so you essentially have a galvanic coupling between the working and counter electrode so the potential that you measure in the voltmeter is not the standard work standard potential of the working electrode it is the difference between the potentials of these two electrodes hence the potential that we measure here is going to be completely different than the standard value additionally when uh, uh, whenever we apply this kind of a voltage that will change the uh, counter electrode as well as the counter electrode keeps changing the potential measured will also change now um, it is uh, in the software uh, usually they will take one value that is measured initially but Uh, that uh, value should also be constant all the time otherwise if there are step if there is a provision in the software that the voltage is continuously measured then these changes due to the uh, current flowing through the counter electrode these changes will be reflected and the 
plot that you will get will have a constantly changing OCV. That is not what we need. We need this con this potential value to be constant. That's why we need three separate electrodes to account for all the issues. I hope this has been useful to you. If you like this, please head on to the new electrochemical testing course on the website corrospective.com and um, uh, do get back to me with any questions. Thank you.